Hi, it's SWF Beach Life back another week to tell you a little bit about Lover's Key and the critters and shells and what you can find if you were to visit Lover's Key. We entered at the north entrance. You'll see there it's $2 per person. It's kind of like an honor system. There's envelopes there that you put your money in and then you put a little tag back in your car. Um, I did take my little tag and put it back in the car. Um, this particular par entrance uh, has little bike racks and it's kind of a no frills, eh, a picnic table, uh, a little bit of signage. That's it. It's kind of what you see is what you get. You can take your recycling and garbage off the beach when you leave. That's always handy to have some porta potties and you know I love signs so yep, there are some signs here. Now if you have doggies or cats, I don't know if you happen to bring your cat to the beach, leave them home. They don't let you bring them on the beach. Pretty early. Oh good, another sign. This is about birds. I'd say it's about, it's before nine. So the beach is relatively empty, just pretty much fishermen. Another pretty day. So this is what we got, uh, what we saw when we first got there. Not that many shells. Although I did see a woman with a big old bag walking back, I passed her. That is an urchin. It has covered itself with shells, kind of neat. So I was hopeful we would get shells. That's a sea star, it's alive. Never seen one all bent up like that. See him moving around in there? Oh, that's kind of neat. I made sure he would live another day, so I just kind of scooped him up and put him back in. Just to make sure. Be nice to the sea critters. So, I was hopeful that we'd get some good shells, although definitely on this part of the beach there really is nothing to, uh, nothing to mention. Starting to look a little better. And that was really cool. That's a top snail. I'd never found one of those. And a broken moon snail, that looks like. A little scallop, but a little beat up. I'm not going to keep him. That's a little conch. And I saved this guy from the surf. That is a baby horse conch wee little thing. And there's another juvenile Florida fighting cock. And a broken shark eye. Ah, oh, an olive. But it's broken. Mwah. So they did have shell piles. Nothing like I found at Blind Pass or any other places I've been. But um, they're there. There's your perfunctory uh, pelican shot. There's a little whelk. A little beat up. And another one. A little broken. And that looks like a turban maybe? Broken. And a little, little conch. No good. No good. Pretty. But it had a little something on it. It's another little Florida fighting conch. Now that you probably know, but if you don't, that is a dead, clearly dead sand dollar. Those are fine to take when they're dead, not when they're alive. If they look like this, this is from a different day, but I just wanted to illustrate. This is what a live one looks like. Don't ever take this home. That is alive. That needs to go back into the water to finish doing what it's doing. And back to Liver's Key. Here's another little Florida fighting conch. It's a little beat up. I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Another little guy. Give it a little inspection and put it back. That's pretty good. Ugh. Well, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good whelk. Oh well. 
A little Murax. He's cool. I'll keep that one. And an olive. Ah, oh, yay. This one's not broken. That's a calico crab. Just a shell, but super colorful. Let's see. Another little juvenile conch shell. Oh, a little whelk. Next to another top snail. Today was the first, that was the first day I'd ever found them. Oh, that's a beat up moon snail. Oh well. That, the peeper fig. It's kind of cool. Ugh. We kept finding broken tulips all day. It was very disheartening. That is a hagstone. Hagstone is any stone that has a natural hole or a hole in it um, created by water. So that's kind of neat. Little baby conch. And a uh, moon snail. He's busted. Fun facts, uh, those moon snails eat other bivalves and they drill a little hole in it and suck out the muscle. That was, those pavilions was mid-island on Lover's Key. That is a beat up crown conch. That is a jingle shell. That is a beat up murex. That's a scallop. It looks good enough to keep. And now he's going to find some birds on the beach. This looks like some terns and some royal terns. No So we're making our way all the way down to the end of Lover's Key. You can wrap around the corner a little bit more, but that's basically that's basically it. That's if you go a little further. Some good photo opportunities. I made sure to take lots of pictures. And then we came across this guy. It's a jelly just kind of rolling around in the surf. And then a nutmeg. Those are hearty little things. I like those nutmegs. And another pelican getting something to eat. Now we're heading back out, and this the, the morning where there is nobody there. Not the case now. Fills up pretty quick, and that is someone checking to make sure you're going to pay when you come in. So maybe not so much of an honor system. So we came in on the north end, which is all the way up here. And then we walked around and down all the way as far as you can go. That middle part is where, I'll get back to that. So that's the very end. The You can enter here and park and you're gonna be much closer. You're not gonna have to walk as far and you'll be able to rent kayaks and bikes and I'll tell you about that some other time. I'll do a whole new video for you. So this is what we got today. Not too bad. We've had better, but hey, got to spend the day walking and hanging on the beach. Nothing wrong with that. So thanks for watching my little video about Lover's Key. Be sure to like, follow, subscribe, share, all that good stuff so you'll be notified when I make a new video.